Hey everybody, welcome to another Goodie Reader video tutorial. This is Marcus. Today we're going to look at the book by Ogden. This is their brand new e-reader. As you can see, it has a full QWERTY keyboard. It's uh, good for left or right-handed via the buttons here on the side. You can surf the internet, you can watch videos, listen to music, look at pictures and take notes. First and foremost, you can read e-books and this is a great e-reader uh, that's low cost. It's around like $139. It's LCD, so it's not true e-ink. You can see maybe that there is a small speaker here on the side. It's kind of dark in here today. Uh, in any case, if you purchase books from Kobo, Barnes and Nobles, Borders, and a ton of other companies, you'll be able to load them on here through Adobe Digital Editions. So we're going to show you how to do that. We'll also show you how to copy books to the Ogden by using Calibre and via Windows Explorer. So whether you've purchased books, whether they're books in your own library, whether you like to use different programs, we're going to show you everything you need to know. What we're going to do for the sake of the tutorials, we're going to use eBooks. We're going to use ebooks in EPUB format, and these are one of the books we purchased. The other two books are books that just exist in our own collection. And without further ado, the three things you'll need to get started in this tutorial is an Ogden e reader. You'll also need the mini USB to USB cable that came with your device. Uh, you'll also need ebooks. So, what we're going to do is plug this into our e reader. And we'll get a pop up here. I'm just going to kind of zoom in on it. USB cable is connected. Please confirm co connection. What we're going to do is hit the enter button right here next to the, dro to the joystick. Now it says uh, e reader is connected. Please wait. And uh, what we'll do is we're ready to start loading content on our device. So first I'm going to kind of show you some of the features on the directory structure here, just so you're a little bit uh, familiar with it. Uh, the first thing that you're going to see, I'm just going to kind of zoom in on this for you. The first thing that you're going to notice is there's a directory here called Adobe Digital Editions and there's a dot in front of it. Now, you don't want to load anything in that directory. It's pretty well just like a working program directory for Adobe Digital Editions. Audio is where your audio files will go, so your MP3s, your FLACs, or FLACs, other formats will be able to just you know drag and drop there from wherever they exist on your computer. Digital editions, this is where the actual books will be stored that Adobe Digital Editions actually puts on your e-reader. I will explain Adobe Digital Editions uh, in a moment when we actually get to it. Free ebooks is where the the books that came with your device, there's roughly about 263 free ebooks. You know, you have the classics like Ulysses uh, by James Joyce. You have, you know, books by Oscar Wilde, Bram Stoker Dracula, sort of a lot of classics and American classics. My books, this is a directory in which all the books that you copy to your device, they're all hosted in here. So when you load books via Calibre or drag and dropping via Windows Explorer, this is where you put them. Pictures is where obviously pictures are stored. It does JPEGs, GIFs, and so on. Also, you can put videos on here and you can watch the videos in landscape or portrait mode. You can do ABI, WMV, MPEG4, and so on. Okay, so what we're going to do is close this for now and load up Calibre. So Calibre is pretty well one of the best programs to really kind of use to manage your ebooks. And what I mean by that is a lot of the times when you might download ebooks from Project Gutenberg, Google Books, or elsewhere on the internet, sometimes the author's name and book name will be in the title. Sometimes the author name will be you know, the book uploader or it'll be spelt wrong or um, you want some flexibility. So with Calibre, you could actually change uh, metadata. So Calibre is a free download from the internet. You can simply Google it. C-A-L-I-B-R-E is how you spell it. And when you change the title, you can change the title sort. So if you want 
you know, to be able to search in different orders on your e-reader, you can do that. A lot of e-readers have alphabetical searching, so some you might want the author's last name to be listed under the H's. Under you know, we're dealing with say a book here by Kristen Hanna, so you might want to do it. So when you search the H's alphabetically, Hannah will be be her last name, Kristen will be the first name. So it allows you to basically manage your connect uh, your collection a lot better. If some books that you have uh, downloaded do not have cover art, or if they have generic cover art, you can use Caliber to fetch the metadata from Google Books and ISBN.com. So it via the ISBN number it'll fetch all of the data. So if your ebook maybe doesn't have the publisher information, ISBN number, or you know what date it was originally published, it'll automatically fill in the blanks for you. So when we are using Caliber here, you can kind of see when we click this little black thing here, this is uh, representing to your device. So this is representing this e-reader plugged into here and you can see when we unplug our device it no longer appears here anymore so what we're gonna do is just plug our device in again and you could watch it at the top here pop up so this is now plugged in All right, boom, you see that the device popped up here. It took a few minutes for it to load in. So you can see we have a book here in our library, which is Night Road by Kristen Hanna, but it doesn't exist on our device. So what we're gonna do is go to the top here where it says add eBooks. Okay, I'm just zoom in on that for you here. There's a add eBooks tag. So you wanna click on that and then it'll bring like a drop down menu. And then you can add books from a single directory. You can add multiple books at a time. So for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to sort of add one book. We're going to select the book on our uh, desktop here. Uh, now it's simply copying the book to our device. Sometimes it takes just five seconds, time, sometimes it takes about 30 seconds. It all depends on the processing power of your e-reader. The Augin doesn't really have that fast of a processor and it has very little RAM, so sometimes copying things to and fro from the device will take a lot longer if, say, you're copying books to your Kindle or your Amazon Nook or your Barnes & Noble Nook, sorry. So you notice here that there's a check mark. It's basically saying that this book is now on the device. So what we want to do is simply verify that fact. So we're going to scroll up here to library. Then we're going to go to my books. And you see here is the book by Kristen Hanna. Now I'm just going to open the book just to verify that the whole procedure went correctly. And uh, here you go. The book is now loaded on the device. If you want to change your text, you can hit, there's a menu button here. And you can do that and you can change your font. So if you want to make the font smaller larger. It has a, a bunch of different fonts that you can do. So, uh, you can see the font changed. Went from like bold to a little bit more readable now. So yeah, so uh, there you go. That's the way to do with Caliber. And again, we fully endorse Caliber as a free open source program. 
One of the other ways you might want to use this is via Adobe Digital Editions. Adobe Digital Editions is a program made by Adobe. What it really does is it facilitates copying books that are protected by digital rights management or are protected by encryption. So when you plug in your Augen for the first time, you will see, you know, you'll need to authorize your computer. It's a simple process. You just basically press enter and uh, you're good to go. So you saw that we plugged in our book by Augen and a little thing here popped up called UDisk. So if I were to look at that, that would basically show me all the books that are on the device. Now because there's a lot of books on the device, it often, and, and coupled with the fact that the Augen processor isn't that strong, sometimes you'll have a fair number of books that will take a long time to be displayed properly. Sometimes it'll take like minutes even. So you see slowly the books are starting to get populated and not only that but it also has to read the cover art as well. Now a lot of these free open source books that came with the Aug in the book, they have, they don't really have cover art. So what we want to do is just simply add a book to it. Uh, what we're going to do is click on all items we're going to click on library, add item to library, and it'll ask us to find a book we want to do. We're going to use Without Mercy by Lisa Jackson. And you can see here that uh, the book has popped up. Now this book is not on our device yet but it does kind of allow us to manipulate it very slowly because the computer's lagging a bit. And you just simply drag and drop that into the UDisk directory there, which again, UDisk is indicative to the AUG in the book. Once you drop it in there, it'll say copying. Once the copying process is complete, the book is on your e-reader, so you don't really have to uh, sync it or do any type of you know special after things. It's basically just copying the book to your device. It's a very simple process. So while this takes a while to copy over, I want to show you the third method that you can do. And this is via just Windows Explorer. We've just clicked on my computer. Here is our uh, book. You can see uh, what we want to do is do a book called here uh, Alex Cross, Cat and Mouse by James Patterson. We're going to click copy. This is again our trusty directory. We're going to simply go to my books. Now you could either just paste it into here straight up, but I might have more books in the future that I may want to um, do by James Patterson. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. I'm going to click new and make a folder. And I'm going to rename this folder uh, James Patterson. And then that way any future James Patterson books I have, I'll have in this folder. And this, you know, basically is just a personal thing. It just helps manage your e-reader a little bit more effectively and a little bit more organized. So as this is copying over, when it's finished copying over, it's now officially on my e-reader. So our book has successfully been copied over via Adobe Digital Editions, Windows Explorer, and Caliber. Now what we want to do is just load up uh, our device again and just verify that everything's there. So we're going to safely sort of disconnect our device by clicking the complete button. And we're going to go to library. We're going to go to my books. And here's the James Patterson book that I copied over via Windows Explorer. So just to verify this works, here we go. Again, you see, you don't see cover art on the Augen. It's pretty well just generic book icons. But you see a loading icon there as it's trying to load a book that I just initiated. Here's the book. So I'm going to go hit home again because we verified that the book's on our device. I'm going to click enter on library. Now I'm going to go up to digital editions. 
And here is the book uh, Without Mercy by Lisa Jackson. And here we go. We've successfully copied books to uh, the book by Ogden. We have done it, you know, pretty well with Caliber, Windows Explorer, and Adobe Digital Edition. So if you have any questions, please respond to this video's comments on YouTube or on our blog at goodyreader.com slash blog. For Goody Reader, this is Marcus, and we hope you found this tutorial informative, and take care.